hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core how to bind multiple models into a single razor page and here we got the final output notice the header tags display multiple models into single razor page using ASP.NET Core 3.0 first one is a country table and the second one is a state table and these are the tables this is a state table and this is a country table that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in ASP.NET Core to bind the multiple models which are multiple tables into a single razor page First, we'll check the table and the column names in the SQL Server Management Studio. The tables for this example, I have taken the tables country and state. In country table, I have two columns CID, country ID, and CNAME, which is a country name. And the second table is a state table, which contains three columns SID, which is a state ID, S name, which is a state name, and the third one is a city ID. Now let's write the coding part in ASP.NET Core to display these two tables into a single razor page. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET Core application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the project, I am selecting ASP.NET Core Web Application. Click Next. The project name is Multiple models into single razor page create and after that I'm selecting the web application template a project template and the version of dotnet core I'm using 3.0 click create And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Now first in this project, open Solution Explorer. We'll add our connection string in the app settings.json file. Open the JSON file. Now in this JSON file between curly braces, I'm adding my connection string between double quotes. I'm adding connection strings, column, curly braces, Let's close this curly brace with a comma because it's a JSON file. Now in this connection string, here between these double quotes, I'm adding my connection string name, which is my connection colon. And now between these double quotes, I'm adding the data source of the connection string. So to get the data source, uh, open the server explorer. Notice in the server explorer there is a data connections. I right click the mouse add connection let's add our SQL server name after adding SQL server name now I'm selecting the database name the tables I have created in the sample DB let's check see here the sample DB the state and the country table both are in the sample DB I have selected the sample DB database here, then test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got our sample db.db well. Now we require this sample db.db well data source. Right click the mouse, go to properties. In the properties, there is a connection string which contains data source. Copy that one and paste between these double quotes. After adding the data source in this app settings.json file, now next open solution explorer. I'm creating a new folder in this project to add my classes. So right click the project name, add new folder. Let's give the model name to the folders models now in this models I'm adding multiple classes 
right click the models folder add class and the first class name I'm adding country class enter and here we got our country class now in this country class I'm adding the namespace using system dot component model dot data nations. Now in this class, I'm just defining the properties key prop double tab which creates the property. The first property data type is int, and the property name is we need to add our uh, the column name which is a CID copy that one and paste here and the second property name is string data type and the column name is C name the property name must be the same as the column name in the table the C name here we got C name so after adding these two properties now next add the another class in the same models folder right click the models folder and let's select the class now this class name is a state class add now in the state class I'm just defining the properties of the state table before that we have to add the namespace using system dot component model dot data initials and then in this class let's add the key then property integer type the first one is a SID the property name as I told we have to give the same exact whatever we have given the column name here SID and in the state table we have SID now S name we require copy that one prop string type s name and the last one prop integer type cid the third column name the property is cid this one cid now we got two classes country and state in the models folder now the last class i'm adding the application class which i can inherit the db context class so let's right click the models folder again go to add class and the class name i'm adding application db context class click add and here we got our application db context class now in this application db context class I want to inherit the DB context class. So to inherit the classes, we need to add with colon DB. So DB context class is belongs to the namespace system Microsoft dot entity framework core namespace. So let's add the package here using Microsoft dot entity framework. If you notice in the drop down list, there is no any entity framework code package. So let's install that package into our project. Open Solution Explorer. Before that, let's expand the dependencies. Notice we don't have any packages folder. Let's install the necessary packages for this project. Select the models folder, project name. Go to Manage Nature Packages. Go to Browse and search for Microsoft dot entity framework core select that one and this is the package I want to install and the version is a 3.0 click install click OK and accept the license and the entity framework code is installed successfully open solution explorer notice in the dependencies folder now we got the packages folder is added let's expand the packages folder 
here we got the Microsoft .entity framework core which we have installed just now now let's install the next package we require the .sql server select that one click install click ok I accept the license and SQL Server package is installed successfully now next the design select that one click install click ok accept the license package will require this one the tools entity framework code dot tools select that one and click install click ok accept the license and the tools package is also installed successfully let's open solution explorer and notice we got all the packages are installed successfully in this packages folder now after that let's close this nutjet packages close the error list and the output message block let's import the package using microsoft.entity framework code then in the class let's inherit the db context class after that let's create the constructor ctvo ctvor it will create the constructor for the class in this constructor i'm adding db context options the context we are getting from the application db context class our class name then options column base options after the constructor let's create the property the property type is db set the db set the entity we are getting from the uh, the class names the first class name is a content class and the property name we have to add the table name so open that one we have to add the country the table name this here and the next property which is a db set we are getting from the we are, the entities we are getting from the state class and the property name is which is a table name our table name is a state table let's copy this one and paste here Now open solution explorer. Let's open the startup.cs file. We have to configure the uh, services in this configure services method. Before that, we need to import the namespace using Microsoft.entity framework code. Then we need to add the models folder also. That models folder is our project name dot models folder then in the configure services let's add the services dot add db context in this db context the context type you are getting from the application uh, db context class this class then options options dot get uh, not get use use sql server method use sql server method and this method takes a string property which is our connection string so configuration dot connection strings get connection string the get connection string method takes a string parameter and that string parameter is our connection string name to get our connection string name open app settings.json file and notice this is our connection string name copy that one and paste between these double quotes get connection string method and end with the semicolon that's it we have added the a db context and our connection string in this startup.cs file and now let's open solution explorer we need to call these model classes into the razor pages 
so expand the pages folder in the pages folder notice the index.cshtml file which is a razor page let's open that one and here we got the razor page which contains some default code let's delete this p tag which i don't require and change the heading display multiple models tables and a single razor page h2 asp.net core tutorials the version i'm using 3.0 see that after that i'm adding horizontal line now before binding the data into this index view page right click the mouse go to page model and here we got our page model of the index.cshtml now if you notice in this page model we got some default code like private read only we got a constructor and then one method on get method so let's add the namespaces here packages using microsoft.entity framework code then add the models folder also dot models folder then in the read only the i logger here this one is a default core i'm deleting that one uh, i'm adding application db context class this class name let's create the property cc and in the constructor also add our application db context class cc then underscore cc is equals to cc after that i'm adding the property uh, prop double tab and this property type is the i enumerable the i enumerable the out t types the objects we are getting from the uh, country class so first let's add the country class and the property name here give the country any name country names get country names get country name and the second prop double tap i enumerable the type of objects we are getting from the state class then here the property is get state name here the property name you can give anything but here in the db context class we have to provide our table name and now in the public void on get method let's bind the data get country name add that one the property name is equals to underscore cc dot now the, the country the table name dot toolist method then let's bind the state table also get state name is equals to underscore cc dot state the table name dot toolist method that's it we have added the code to bind that country and state switch to index.cshtml after the horizontal line i'm adding center tag after the center tag inside the center tag i'm adding a table element which contains a border is equals to one tr table rows table header the first one is a country id table header country name in the country table we have two columns country id and country name here what i'm doing h3 i'm adding the country table and then after the tr i'm adding for each loop at for each loop let's declare the variable item in model dot I'm adding the get country name which is our property name this property name we have to add in this index page then between curly braces 
we are table data at item dot see here we got the column names CID TD at uh, item dot C name that's it now let's display the second table also so instead of writing the same code copy this one on the table let's copy that one horizontal line paste here this country table put it inside the center and uh, after the horizontal line I am adding the header which displays the state table the header tags are state id state name in the state table we have three columns state id state name and country id and after that i am using for each loop to fetch the records from the table so variable item in model dot here instead of get column get country name i am adding get state name dot first one is SID state id i am adding dot state name and the last td at item dot country id that's it we have added the two models into a single razor page using asp.net call now it's time to check the results in the browser browse with i'm selecting google chrome default set as default click browse and here we got the final output notice the header tags display multiple models into single razor page using asp.net core 3.0 first one is a country table and the second one is a state table and these are the tables this is a state table and this is a country table that's it